Yeah. Ziggler's has a good question. I was going to ask something similar, um, so I'll follow up with that. How important do you think it is for a producer to to you know show themselves and and be personable um, through their content, especially since you already talked about your relationship with your brother, you know the way you broadcast it, that helped you grow your brand because people like seeing mm -hmm. the interaction, they like seeing the relationship between you and him. Um, I think it can be important because it's a good way to just get your face out there and be known. But I don't necessarily think it's for everybody. I don't feel like every producer wants to be on camera. And so if that's not you and you're not going to be comfortable on camera, or, you know, you're going to feel awkward on it. And, you know, you might make one video and you don't like it. And someone's telling you, yeah, you should put out content, but that's not you in the core. And you can't see yourself doing that for five, 10 years, then maybe there, there's another way, you know, I see other producers winning in, up, in other ways, like maybe just putting out really, really quality music, like really quality samples. And they build their brand that way. And they're kind of more mysterious behind the scenes. People don't maybe not know their face and that, but because their work is just quality, they're building the brand that way. So in some ways i think it's important but in some ways it's just not for everyone and there's a path for everyone to take to to i guess succeed in the industry or in their own way so whatever you feel comfortable with is what i would say go and do you know yeah because it does seem like the modern day landscape either favors or showcases the producers who are comfortable in front of a camera and i know um ed talenti recently said and he he was here when he said it or no he was here when he re reinforced it mm -hmm. um that the the best skill a producer can learn is is how to get in front of a camera and i, I i've seen it help a lot of producers in the sense that you know there are producers who aren't really even selling music, but they have a, an amazing career because of getting in front of a camera and being yeah. able to communicate and create community and build community using their personality. And it's just this very human, personable thing. No, yeah, for sure. I definitely understand that, but I just don't feel like it's for everyone. You know, I've met producers who they just, I'm not, I'm not going to say like I'm extra or anything. I'm probably very, I'm very introverted, but I've met producers who are very low key. They really don't want to be in front of the camera. They just want to make their music and that's it. And maybe that lane might be a bit more challenging, a bit harder because no one really knows who you are, but you can use that mysterious, that mysterious air to your advantage at the same time. I feel like there's definitely different ways you can attack it. Yeah, I'm glad that you, you mentioned that you are low key because uh, I feel like I am too. And as a result, I don't like I don't feel like I'm the perfect YouTuber in the sense that my thumbnails aren't me making a huge surprise face mm -hmm. and like I'm not so, yo, what's going down, you know, like. <laughs> and you're not either so i appreciate yeah. that about you because um it gives me it gives me hope for my content yeah uh i guess it, it's just an authentic authenticity factor for you where where you know. i think that's the most important yeah okay. i think i think Trent, maybe that's what i'm trying to say i think you should be the most authentic to you if you're that loud guy who who's in the camera and that then be that if you're the more chill quiet guy and you want to be on camera, be that. If you're the mysterious guy who's behind the scenes, just wants to make the music, nothing else, be that. Because I feel like the authenticity is probably the one that's going to attract an audience to you. People are, will, will see things in you. How am I trying to say this? People will see, people will basically relate to you. That's what I'm trying to say. People will relate to you when you're being authentic. And with the moment where you're trying to do something that you're not comfortable with, I don't know, it comes a bit. It, we just know as an audience we just know like yeah that's not right something's not going on yeah something's not right there we can't follow that 